Fun fact, planet Earth is 4.5 billion years old. Mankind, about 140,000 years old. Let me put that in perspective. If you condense the Earth's lifespan into 24 hours, that's one full day, then we have been here on this planet for, drum roll please, three seconds. Three seconds. And look what we've done. We have modestly named ourselves Homo sapiens, meaning wise man. But is man really so wise? Smart, yes, and it's good to be smart, but not too smart for your own good. Yes, we have split the atom. Yes, we build clever machines that navigate the universe in search of new homes, but at the same time, those atoms we split created nuclear warfare. In our quest to explore the galaxy, rejects and neglects the home that we have here now, so no, that cannot be wisdom. Wisdom is different. While intelligence speaks, wisdom listens, and we willingly covered our ears to Mother Nature's screams and closed our eyes to all of her help-wanted signs. Wisdom knows that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so if we were wise, we would not be shocked when we see storms that are stronger than ever before, or more drought, hurricanes, and wildfire than ever before, because there's more pollution than ever before, more carbon, more trees cut down than ever before. At a record pace, we have increased the extinction of animals by 1,000 times the normal rate. What a feat. In the next 10 to 100 years, every beloved animal character in every children's book is predicted to go extinct. Lion gone, rhinos gone, tiger, gorilla, elephant, polar bear gone in three seconds. Species that have been here longer than us will be gone because of us in this three seconds. In an existence shorter than a Vine video, we turn the circle of life into our own personal conveyor belt. Somebody, anybody help. We were given so much. The only planet in this solar system with life. I mean, we are one in a million. No, actually, scientifically, we are one in a billion, trillion, trillion. That's a one followed by 33 zeros. And I don't want to get too spiritual, but how are we not a miracle? We are perfectly positioned to the sun so we don't burn, but not too distant so we don't turn to ice. Goldilocks said it best, we are just right This paradise, where we are given medicine from trees Not coincidentally, but because like the song says We are family, literally Everything, every species is connected genetically From the sunflower to the sunfish And this is what we must recognize before it's too late Because the real crisis is not global warming Environmental destruction or animal agriculture It is us, these problems are symptoms of us Byproducts of us our inner reflection, loss of connection has created this misdirection We have forgotten that everything contributes to the perfection of mother nature Corporations keep us unaware and disconnected But they have underestimated our strength Contrary to popular belief, millions are waking up out of their sleep Seeing our home being taken right up under our feet we cannot allow our history to be written by the wicked, greedy, and loony. It is our duty to protect Mother Nature from those who refuse to see her beauty. Call me crazy, but I believe we should have the right to eat food that's safe. With ingredients we can pronounce, drink water that is clean, marvel at trees, breathe air free of toxins. These are natural rights, not things that can be bargained for in Congress. See, they want you to feel powerless, but it has been said that something as small as the flutter of a butterfly's wing can cause a typhoon halfway around the world. But when enough people come together, we too will make waves And watch the world into a new era Filled with love and connection Freedom for all without oppression But it is up to you, yes you watching this behind this screen To make the effort, because time is of the essence And only together can we make it to the fourth second We can no longer rely on those who have polluted our air, water, and sea for a solution. There will be no Iron Man coming with a super technological fix to save the world. In fact, we cannot save the world, but we can recreate the world. We must do something about our trees. Trees are so important to this planet, destroying them is causing more than 7 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions each year. If we don't stop the destruction of the world's forests, we will not be able to solve climate change, period. For the past year, I've been supporting Stand for Trees, a platform that puts the power of change back into the hands of the people. They allow you to take responsibility for your carbon footprint and directly protect the threatened forests, forest communities, and wildlife of the world. 
If millions of us support Stand for Trees right now, we could actually do something about climate change and environmental destruction. Only through the collective actions of us all will we have a future full of forests, forests that are full of life, and a planet that is full of harmony. Please join me and go to StandForTrees.org to save a forest and to save our future.